Do these genes make me feel fat? Exploring subjective fatness, its workplace outcomes, and rethinking subjectivity in the stigmatization process. The purpose of the study is to explore the workplace implications of how big you feel compared to how big you are. I was originally interested in this idea because weight issues are an important problem for organizations. If you look at the number of people that are obese or overweight, it's a full two thirds of the US population and billions of people around the world. And there's two significant problems that we know related to weight issues from the academic research. So from organizational research, we know that weight issues are a source of discrimination at nearly every career stage. And from the medical research, we know that it's almost impossible to lose weight. So studies show that 95% of people that start a weight loss program, so whether that's dieting or exercise, will actually be at the same body fat level or a higher body fat level uh, in two years. So it suggests that weight issues are much more driven by environmental factors and uh, genetic factors than things that are actually within the control of the employee. So kind of in context of these issues, we wanted to explore if obesity was more complex than the organizational literature currently views it as. And we specifically wanted to examine whether a psychological element to body fat is actually more predictive of someone's work experience than their actual body fat status. So there's three important findings from this study. So first we find that objective body fat was not predictive of someone's job performance. So how overweight or obese they were did not predict how they viewed their ability to do their job or how others viewed their ability to do their job in any way. We did find, however, that subjective fatness actually did significantly predict job performance. So how fat someone felt actually predicted the way that they viewed their job performance and the way that others viewed their job performance as well. And lastly, we found that accuracy didn't matter. So someone who's obese, who views themselves as thin, actually reaped all the benefits of uh, someone who views themselves as uh, subjectively thin. Yes, we wanted to replicate results across different sample types. So we studied uh, these issues in the Southeastern United States, in Northern Europe, and in a nationally representative US sample. So we wanted to see if we, consist, if we could consistently find the results in uh, samples that had different levels of obesity and people that are overweight, and in samples that had much different levels of tolerance towards um, obesity issues. So as an example, in the Southeastern United States, it's one of the parts of the world that has the highest instance of people who are overweight or obese. And compared to Northern Europe, you have a much less instance of people that um, uh, are fall into those categories. And uh, studies show it's a much more tolerant um, culture towards obesity issues. Um, so the fact that we're able to replicate results across those different samples shows the robustness and the generalizability of our results. There's three organizational outcomes from uh, the study that are important to highlight. So first for employees, it's less about shedding pounds than it is about pursuing a psychologically healthy mindset. These findings also represent an important tie into recent medical research. So recent medical research suggests that people who focus more on emotional and psychological health that are dealing with uh, weight issues actually experience better health outcomes. So that's the health at every size movement. And these findings also have important implications for organizations. So organizations spend a lot of money on wellness programs each year. So one of the statistics is about $1,200 per employee per year. And usually these wellness programs have a significant weight loss component to them. Our results in contrast show that it's less about weight loss and more about taking on an emotionally and psychologically healthy outlook that not only will lead to better health outcomes, but also better work outcomes as well, creating better uh, performing employees.